Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a macrame feather. Feathers are one of my favorite things to make and I'm excited to teach you. Some supplies you will need are macrame cord. I'm using a four millimeter, some scissors, a brush or comb. Mine is a stainless steel slicker brush. Optional items are Stiff and Quick, which is a fabric stiffener, that wooden dowel or stick to hang your feather off of at the end. You will need some tape. This will hold down your piece while you're working on it. And a tape measure. You will start by measuring out one piece of macrame cord approximately 30 inches long. This is going to be what I call the spine of your feather. Once you're done cutting that cord, go ahead and set it to the side. You will use it in just a minute. Next, you're going to grab your macrame cord and cut 38 pieces, approximately 7 inches long. You can do this freehand. I like to use a book. This book is about seven inches long. It is quick, it is easy. It is a great way to make sure that your cords stay approximately the same length. If you're using the book technique, once you're done wrapping your cord, make sure you are gathering all the cord together with your hand on that book, and then slip your scissors into the book seam and go ahead and cut one of those sides in half. Make sure you are holding on to that cord. You will then flip the book over, grab the cord, make sure that they're still evenly paired up, and go ahead and cut that cord in half. Now time to make your feather. Grab that first piece of cord you cut, which was approximately 30 inches long, and fold it evenly in half. You will then wanna take a piece of tape, and you are going to tape about three to four inches down and secure it to the tabletop. You're gonna do the same thing with the bottom of the cord. Grab another piece of tape, and you are gonna tape that bottom cord about an inch or so above the ends to the table. You're gonna grab one piece of cord from the 38 cords you cut and fold it in half. You will then place it under what I call the spine of your feather. Next, grab another piece of cord, fold it in half evenly, and this time you are gonna take that one and place it underneath that loop over the spine of your feather, and you're gonna reach your fingers in that loop right there and grab those two cords and pull through. Next, pull tightly. I like to pull evenly on both sides and then the top cord and the bottom cord just to make sure that it is secure. You will do this all the way down your feather. So again, fold a piece of cord evenly in half, place it under the spine, grab your next cord, fold that evenly in half. You're gonna go underneath that loop, over the spine, and go ahead and pull those cords through that loop with your fingers. Tighten it evenly and continue on. Here is another closer look. Folding that cord in half under the spine. Another cord in half through the loop over the spine and then reach in and pull those cords through. Once you have used up all 38 cords, you should have a total of 19 knots going all the way down the spine of your feather.
Now that you're done with all your knots, you're gonna grab a brush or a comb and brush out all of the cord on each side of your feather. If you're new to macrame and looking for a good brush, I highly suggest these Slicker dog brushes. They are a stainless steel dog brush. You can get them at a pet store or on Amazon, but they are amazing. They have a little clip, you can press it, and it collects all the fibers of your cord. Now comes the fun part to cut your feather. I like to turn mine around so it's not facing me. It's easier for me to cut this way since you are kind of cutting downwards at an angle to make sort of that feather shape. Time to grab your scissors and start cutting your feather. I do eyeball my feathers. By cutting your cord the same length when we cut them all seven inches, you can tell they have this little guideline on the side, which makes it really easy to help get your scissors and guide your feather. When I cut my feathers, I start about an inch and a half away from the spine and I start little snips. I gradually get a little bit wider and I will narrow back in. I do recommend having really sharp scissors if you're going to cut the cord this way. Also, rotary cutters are a really nice tool to use for feathers as well. Once you've cut both sides, I then like to give it a little brush out and see anywhere else that needs trimmed up or anything else I would like to cut. This part is optional, but I like to use Stiffen Quick on my feathers. This is a fabric stiffener that I spray all over my feathers once I'm done, and this will allow the feather to hold its shape better. Next, flip your feather over and give this side a little brush out. You may need to trim up some cords that we may have missed while cutting your feather earlier. Thank you. 
spraying some quick and stiff on this side and then I'm just going to spread it on in into the feathers. And now your feather is done. If you would like to display your feather on a dowel or a branch, you will then grab the top of the feather's cords, fold it over in the front, it will look like a pretzel, and then you're gonna put those two loops right next to each other. This will allow you to then put the branch or dowel and slide it right on through. Go ahead and tighten that knot up and you are complete. I hope you enjoyed making this feather as much as I do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along to see more macrame tutorials.